Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to another episode of Midnight Hour The Dream Diary. This was a pretty incredible dream, I gotta admit. It was... Every now and again you have like an epic story, like an entire journey or something like that, where you're just thrown into like a whole other world, and it's just really incredible and you absolutely like, you love the dream and you love like the story behind it. This was definitely one of those times and it was just so incredible. I'm so happy that I was able to remember this one. So the story, I know because it's a dream, it doesn't make entirely all that much sense. There are some parts that just don't add up or doesn't make all that much sense or whatever, but it still pieced together enough to become an entire story and it was really incredible and I absolutely loved it. And I'm glad I'm gonna be able to share it with you guys. So what happened was, it was some sort of talent show or a competition or something. I, I can't remember what the purpose was. It was something like that, like a talent show or something along those lines. And all the contestants were deaf people. I just remember that everyone there was someone who was deaf who couldn't hear. So what happened was I just completely fell in love with this one girl who was entered in the show um I tried my best to like draw her from what I can remember her looking like I've heard that like when you have dreams of people it's impossible to create an entirely original face just from the human memory so if you have a dream of somebody that you've genuinely never seen before you actually have seen them before it's just that you don't really know who they are so you've seen that face before it's just that you don't know who that is So, I don't know who this is, but this is the girl that I saw in my dream, and she was deaf and she was entering this show, and I just absolutely fell in love with her, and what happened was, um, she was really close to her handler, the one who would, like, translate what people were saying to her, and, uh, it seemed like she wanted to be in a relationship with him instead, so I just sort of, I didn't really pursue anything, I just, like, kept on talking to her as best as I could because I don't know any sign language so I would just like do thumbs up or wave or anything like that or just smile and I remember taking her over to a friend who she was going to play checkers with or chess or something and it was just I don't know if it was a competition or just for fun I can't really remember that part but um, I remember in this entire auditorium that we were in Um, There were these tree statues that were made up of these uh, pieces of like, um, like imagine all the branches of a Christmas tree, but they all had like built in lights in them. And there were just these poles that like you put in to make the branches and make the statue fixtures or whatever. So it was really interesting to look at. And I remember she just sat at a table like underneath this big sparkly tree thing. And I just went off and did something for whatever reason. And I found out that backstage, I found her handler making out with some other guy. And I just like sort of freaked out because like I was expecting that. And like, A, he was sort of cheating on her. I don't remember if they were in a relationship or not, but like, um, he was cheating on her. And like, also. He, either he was bi or just he didn't really love her because he liked guys so um he wound up catching me and uh he said that there was like no point in telling her uh, what had happened because it would just end up hurting her even more and after like everything that she's been through everything that she has to go through every day like she doesn't need any more hardships in her life but then he went on to say like how much of a burden it is to have a deaf uh, girlfriend or something like that and he just needed a break from her and it was like just a lot of horrible stuff that I didn't approve of and um what happened was like he just sort of left me with that saying that I would snap out of it eventually and that I would if he came to realize that I liked her as well and like he just said that I would not end up liking her if I stayed with her for long enough because I would see how horrible it was to uh, be in a relationship with someone who was deaf And I just didn't understand that. So I didn't end up telling her. I couldn't tell her because I couldn't translate. I couldn't sign language. So 
what I did, I just went back to her and she had won the checkers game and I just gave her the thumbs up and what happened at that point was I wanted to give her like a branch from that uh, sparkly tree thing that she was sitting under and I like went up to uh, remove a piece from the statue and once I had one of these glowing branches I wanted to give it to her um, she disappeared I have no idea what happened she just like she got called away somewhere or got taken away from some by someone and she just got lost in the crowd and I just remember running through this entire school building or something just looking for her and I was like running around outside I couldn't like call out to her because she wouldn't hear it and I couldn't find her anywhere and I remember just it was so prolonged it was such a prolonged like period of time where I was just searching for her and I eventually woke up and that was it. it I spent so long in that dream just searching it felt like an eternity but then I couldn't even have a satisfying ending to it I just woke up and that was the end of it so I kind of wish that this dream had a bit more of a happy ending of course but it was still just a really interesting journey not really something I would expect and that's sort of why I like about dreams in general just like you can never know what to expect and it was just so amazing what happened um it's, maybe I could turn that into an actual story I remember there was a time where I was trying to write a script about a deaf person um it didn't really get finished at all um with the things I write, I tend to keep them because I do want to see them all finished at some point. I don't really write stories just for the sake of finishing an assignment or something. I would like to see everything I write get turned into a full-fledged thing one day. But with this one, it was just so incredible. And I just like that it had nothing to do with anything in my life in general. It, like, it, it didn't have, it wasn't a dream about like a game I'm into or like a certain event that actually did happen recently it was just completely random just thrown into this other world this other reality with this new person and just interacting with them that was just a really special dream to me so i'm glad that i remembered it and i'm glad i got to share it with all of you if you had any dreams recently please feel free to leave them in the comments section below but otherwise i will see you guys next time for another episode of midnight hour the dream diary Thank you all for watching, this is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.